Let us now go to epigastric pain. Let us talk about a case history of retention of food. This is a case history of a 45 year old woman who had been suffering from epigastric pain for two years. The pain was dull, worse lying down, aggravated by pressing on the area and accompanied by a slight nausea and acidity. When the pain was bad, she also became constipated and her appetite decreased. She also had a slight feeling of fullness. Besides this problem, she had also experienced some slight bleeding in between periods with light fresh blood for four months. Her pulse was slippery on the whole and weak on the right side. Her tongue was pale with a slight bluish purple tinge, teeth marks, and a sticky white coating. Here we can see a person's tongue with spleen chi deficiency and excess due to retention of food. Her condition is a mix of deficiency and excess. There is a deficiency of spleen chi manifesting with poor appetite, dull epigastric pain, bleeding in between periods, weak pulse, and pale tongue with teeth marks. The excess condition due to retention of food manifests with constipation, nausea, pain which is worse for pressure, and on lying down. It was also determined due to the slippery pulse and the sticky tongue coating. The treatment principle adopted was to tonify spleen chi and resolve retention of food. It was not necessary to deal with the stasis of blood directly as this will resolve by itself once spleen chi is tonified and food retention is resolved. The points used were REN12, Stomach36, Spleen6, Bladder20, Bladder21 with reinforcing method to tonify stomach and spleen chi. REN11, Stomach21, Stomach40 with even method to promote the descending of stomach chi to resolve retention of food and pericardium 6 with even method to subdue rebellious stomach chi, causing nausea and acidity. Thank you so much for your attention.